Julio Jones has made the NFL news recently over his lack of uh, trade being done. So Julio Jones has been rumored of in many trades over the past few weeks, even months dating back to before the draft. But those rumors have picked up steam recently after a interesting uh, occurrence happened on live television yesterday or a few days ago. As Julio Jones was called by Shannon Sharp live on Shannon Sharp's Fox uh, sports show, calling Julio live without Julio knowing that the he was live, with Sharp asking if he wanted to stay in Atlanta, and Julio said, quoted, nah, I'm out of there. So Julio Jones wants out of Atlanta. It literally cannot be disputed at this point. Now it's just a matter of where he's going to go. One of those spots that's been rumored has been the New England Patriots. Julio Jones has been, quote, on his radar per report. Falcon star receiver reportedly has Patriots and Titans on his radar. Julio Jones wants to play with Cam Newton. All these different reports uh, leading to Julio wanting to go with New England. So many different teams have been rumored to be linked to Julio. New England, Tennessee, Green Bay. Uh, the list just goes on and on of teams that have wanted c- to go for Julio Jones. And rightfully so. As Julio Jones, though, we had an off year last year due to injuries, which we'll get into in a moment, has been very productive over his career. Had a career year in 2018 where he had 113 receptions for 1,600 yards and 8 touchdowns. Massive numbers. Or, I'm sorry, that's not even his career year. As that was in 2015 where he had 136 receptions for 1,800 yards and 8 touchdowns. I just noticed that recording this. So, he's had massive numbers over his career with 300-yard receiving years having very few years of under 1,000 yards, where this past year was the first year he didn't get hit 1,000 yards since 2013. So that's just to put the numbers out there. Average average yards, hitting 15 yards a catch, longs of over 50 yards, getting close to 10 touchdowns, getting 68 touchdowns every year. Last year was an off year, and there was a reason for that, and that was because Julio Jones has been highly injury-prone over the last few years. Julio Jones' chance of injury in 2021 is an 83%. His chance of injury per game is at 10%. He's projected to miss three games for 2021 alone. His durability score is a 5, which is the best it can be, meaning that even if he is injured, the productivity that would come from that injury. Julio Jones played all of that last year with injuries, mostly in his thighs, as there were four different accounts of a hamstring injury in 2020, dating September 20th, October 5th, November 22nd, and December 9th. We've been dealing with uh, strains and aggravations in his hamstrings throughout the season. And even before those hamstring injuries, he'd been dealing with pedal foot for the last three years at this point. So he's had multiple injuries in his lower body, which isn't good when the position you play is wide receiver. And going back to the last graphic, 13 injuries in his foot over his career, 8 in his thigh over his career. He's had minors everywhere on his right leg. That's very that's a massive question mark when it comes to looking at taking a wide receiver it's no doubt that Julio is talented but he's getting up there in age he's in his 30s there's a chance that his productivity drops tremendously so it's not necessarily a matter of is Julio going to be talented enough to fit an NFL roster it's going to be a matter of what's his durability going to look like so Julio Jones, like we said, is very talented. I would want him at New England, but I've also been skeptical with trades and moves that Patriots have made for wide receivers over time. Patriots traded with the Falcons not too long ago for a wide receiver named Mohamed Sanu for a second-round pick at the trade deadline a few years ago. That trade turned out to be a massive bust and a waste of a trade. So, 
and that Mohamed Sanu was less injury prone and less and younger, though very less talented. So a team is going to overpay for Julio, which is why I don't think this trade will happen, and I don't think the Patriots should trade for over trade for Julio. If I were to make an offer for Julio, I'm offering Nikhil Harry, Sony Michelle, and a second round pick this year. You get the second round pick for a wide receiver talent who has been injury prone over the past few years, is older, but you also get two players who will make an impact on your offense. Nikhil Harry, former first round pick who hasn't developed well under New England. He comes in to be your wide receiver three behind Calvin Ridley, who would take over the reins at one, and Russell Gage, who had a breakout year as a wide receiver three, and also bringing in Sony Michelle to complement Mike Davis in that backfield as Mike Davis is, is, a fe- is a severe downgrade from the uh, running back talent that they've had in the past. So as much as I would like to see Julio in this beautiful Patriots jersey, credit to 617 Swaps, for this jersey make or for this jersey swap it's unlikely to happen Belichick will call do his due diligence but Julio's going to go somewhere where the where the Falcons will get a first round pick in return and I don't see a realm of possibility where Belichick offers a first round pick for Julio at this moment and I don't know if Julio is even the right move to go make a trade for with New England due to his injury prone ability and his age. If he stays uninjured and gets traded and plays well, has a dominant all pro year, then I'll look like a clown for this video. But at the moment, Julio, not the best move for New England to make right now because there are just way too many question marks. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like and subscribe would be greatly appreciated. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you in the next video. Go Pats!